Okay, so now for the for the roses, um, you're gonna get whatever color you desire. I'm using blue and purple and pink, and I'm using a crochet hook, which is G, and it is 4.25 millimeters. And um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna chain 51, okay? So just chain 51. I'm gonna do it off camera because um, there's a lot of noise right now. So I'm gonna just chain 51, and I'll and I'll see you guys at the end, okay? Okay, so sorry about if a thing is shaking, the camera's shaking a little bit, and there's a lot of noise. Um, my little brother's over there running on the treadmill, so. <laughs> and we're on the second floor, so. It makes it move a little bit of my dress, my table move. So, okay, um, so we already chained 51, and what we're going to do in the second chain from the hook, um, we're going to single crochet. Say okay, so we're going to put one single crochet, so. From the second chain from the hook, which is going to be right here, we're going to um, single crochet. So just one single crochet. And then um, we're going to chain two. One and two. And then we're going to skip the next chain. So we're going to skip one of the chains right here. So we did one right here. We're going to skip one, okay? And then we're going to single crochet into the next chain though. So we'll just skip a, ch um, a chain and just single crochet into the next one, okay? And after that, we're going to repeat. We're going to repeat that. We're going to single crochet and then we're going to chain two and then skip the single crochet and just repeat that pattern, okay? Okay, sorry about that. Somebody was knocking. Um, but what we're going to do is we are going to repeat that again. And we're, how we do that is we're going to single crochet into the chain, so we're going to crochet into there, and then we are going to chain two, one and two, and then we're going to skip a sing, uh, chain, and we're going to go into the next chain, and we're going to do a single crochet. Okay, so then we're going to keep repeating that. Um, and we're going to keep repeating that through all of them, okay? So we're going to single crochet. Then we're going to chain two. Oops. And then we're going to skip a, a, a um, chain and then we're going to go into the next one and do a single crochet. Okay? So this is what you should be having right now. And so we are going to single crochet into the next one, chain two, one, two, skip a chain and go into the next one and do a single crochet. So just follow that pattern all the way across till you get to the end and I'll meet you guys there. Okay, and I'm so sorry about the shaking in the video. I'm telling you my brother's running on the treadmill. Okay, so we're, if you made it to the end, congrats. Um, we're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work and chain one. So just chain one and then turn. And in <clears throat> in the, inside the chain two space, so this space in here, right in there, so you remember that we chained two and we skipped one. But inside that chain space, we're going to um, do three half double crochets, okay? So I'm going to go right into that space and then do three half double crochets, okay? If I can get this through. Okay, there. So that's one. This will be two. And then three. Okay? So then after that, we're going to chain one and slip stitch to <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna slip stitch into like um, the chain two space, if that makes any sense. So basically, we're just going to slip stitch in here, okay? Into the other chain two space. So just slip stitch right into there, okay? <clears throat> so then, um, we're going to keep doing that basically. We're going to keep doing that um, throughout. So now we're going to slip stitch 
we slip stitch in there and then um, we're going to I think we're slip stitch again I'm trying to remember how to do the rows I don't know why I'm just blanking I'm so sick that I'm just completely blanking right now um, so we slip stitch in there and I think we need to slip stitch into the next um, chain two space again so let's slip stitch again I believe if not I'm sorry I am not feeling well <laughs> so we're gonna chain um, slip stitch in there and then we're gonna chain one so let's just try that if it's in the wrong wall I'll just do it over okay so <laughs> we're gonna chain one and then we're gonna um, do we're gonna do three half double crochets so oh sorry half double crochets can't believe I just did okay so one, two, <clears throat> and three. And then after that, we're going to chain one, okay? And slip stitch into the next chain two. So we're just going to slip stitch into there. <clears throat> and in the next chain two, we're going to slip stitch again. So we're going to go into the next one. And we're slip stitch again and then we are going to chain one and do three half double crochets so there's one I hope I didn't completely lose you guys sorry I just am not feeling well how to remember how to do it so it's two <clears throat> and three okay so after that after we do our three half double crochets, we're going to chain one and we're going to slip stitch into that other chain two. So we're just going to slip stitch and then we're going to slip stitch again into the next one. And we're going to chain one and do three half double crochets. So there's one, two, and three. Okay. <clears throat> and then after that we're going to chain one and we're going to slip stitch and then slip stitch again and then we're going to chain one and do three half double crochets one two and three and then we're going to chain one so you see the pattern coming up for you now Sorry guys, I'm just not feeling well and I confused you guys for a second there. Okay, so now we're going to slip stitch and then slip stitch again. So it's kind of like the other one where you skip a stitch. Okay, and then we're going to chain one and do half to, three half double crochets, okay? slip stitch and then slip stitch again and then we're going to chain one and we are going to do three half double crochets in there there's one two and three and then we're going to chain one and we're going to slip stitch stitch again and we're going to chain one <clears throat> and do three half double crochets in there so there's one two three and then chain one and you're going to slip stitch and then slip stitch into the last chain two and then for this last one, well, we're going to chain one and then we're going to do four half double crochets, okay? So we're going to do one, two, three, and four, okay? <clears throat> okay, so that's the end of row two. Okay, so this is something kind of what you should have right now. Okay, so I forgot to mention we're gonna fasten off already after that row, 
and just leave a long tail so you can sew your rows into the form that you need and also to sew it on. So I'm leaving quite a bit of a tail and just fasten them off, pull through and you're gonna leave a long long tail for you know you to form your rows and for you to sew on. So you're just gonna roll your rows in the way that you want it to look and then you're gonna go with your yarn needle you're gonna go like kind of like sewing it to secure the rows the way you want it to look and that's how you're gonna do it okay so you're just gonna keep doing that and you're gonna sew it together okay it ends up looking something like this or you can do it looser or tighter and um, just make a few of those I'm gonna make another blue one and then I'm gonna make two purple and two pink I'm not sure if I'm using them all but I think that's what I want to do I want to have six roses in total so just make um however many roses you want for your rug and then I will meet you guys there okay okay so now I'm gonna show you guys how to do the little sleepy eye for the unicorn and please um, don't mind my nails they got really messed up and I was doing some arts and crafts with my daughter so and also painting her little swing so they may be a little messed up um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna chain 15 you're gonna get black yarn and you are going to um, chain 15 just use a slip knot so we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen and um, then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch the second chain from the hook. So we're just going to slip stitch the second chain right there. And then um, we're going to slip stitch into each of the next two chains. So the next one we're going to slip stitch. And in the next stitch we're going to slip stitch again. Okay. Okay. So now after that we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. Okay? And we're gonna slip stitch to the second chain from the hook on that chain four. And then we're gonna slip stitch in the next two going down. So there's one and then the last stitch right here. That's two. Okay? And then we're we're just gonna slip stitch into um each of the um next three chains, sorry. So we're gonna just slip stitch down the row again. One, then the next stitch that'll be two, the next stitch that'll be three. Okay, and then we're gonna repeat this two more times. So we're just gonna chain four again. One, two, oops, three, four. We're gonna slip stitch to the second chain from the hook. And then slip stitch in the next two. And then we're going to slip stitch down this row in the next three stitches, okay? Just one slip stitch for each of those three stitches, okay? So this is two. And this is three, okay? Alright, now we're going to chain up four. One two, three, four. We're just repeating those steps, okay? So slip stitch the second chain from the hook, slip stitch in the next two. The one, something on there. Okay, and then we're gonna slip stitch in the next three down the, down the chain. So one, two and three now we're gonna we're going to chain up four one two three four oh and I'm sorry I completely failed to mention that I'm using um, double yarn just because this yarn is a little bit thinner and it's like a glittery kind 
So I'm using double the yarn just to make it a little bit thicker. I'm sure you guys noticed there's two strands, but sorry if I didn't mention it. Okay, so we're going to slip stitch the second chain from the hook. And then the next two. Slip stitch. Oopsie. Okay, now we're going to slip stitch um, in the, the last two because there's only going to be two chains left, okay? So we're just going to slip stitch in those two. Usually it's three, but since we only have two left, we're going to slip stitch to those two, okay? And then we're going to fasten off. And this will be your little eye, sleepy eye, with little eyelashes. So cute, huh? And this has glitter in it, so it's super cute. So now we're just going to fasten off. Leave a tail, a long tail, for you to sew it onto your rug. Sorry. So just leave a nice long tail for you to be able to sew it on to your work. <sighs> I see. I'm still sick, you guys. It's terrible. Okay. And just pull through. And hide your tails. And then we're going to sew it on to our work, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and sew all my pieces on. And then that way you guys can see how I sewed it on and what it looks like. So you guys know where to place your your pieces okay all right I'll be right back okay so here is the finished rug and I think it came out super duper cute this is where you're gonna place everything you're gonna place um, the horn right there and the flowers however you want to put it I am gonna add some pink in the ears just to make it pop maybe add some hair later on but um, for now this is how it looks I think it's super cute you can add it any other extras that you may like but I think this is how I'm going to have it. And I'm going to add some hair later on, like some rainbow hair, because my daughter really wants it to have rainbow hair. So, um, but you can actually find that uh, video on how to do that in my um, tutorial of the um, Rainbow Dash, uh, my little pony inspired beanie. You can find out how to do hair there. So, you know, you can figure out how to do the rainbow hair from that video. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I need, I need you guys to subscribe to my channel, please and leave a thumbs up and also if you do this please send me your pictures i would love to see them okay all right thanks bye